People across the state of Florida surveying the damage after a ferocious Hurricane Milton made landfall along the West Coast. The house vibrated when the gusts really picked up. The storm coming ashore in Siesta Key near Sarasota late Thursday as a Category 3, packing powerful winds up to 120 miles an hour and several feet of storm surge, uprooting trees and power lines. More than 3 million customers now without power. No! In St. Petersburg, a large construction crane collapsing onto a street, damaging another building. Luckily, it had been evacuated and there were no reports of anyone hurt. Powerful winds causing the roof of Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays, to partially rip off. This is bad. I've never seen for all 37 years being in Tampa. I've never seen like this something. Rescue crews out all morning in boats, helping people escape their flooded homes and neighborhoods. At least 38 tornadoes reported before the storm made landfall. You can see just the devastation around me. All of this, once the contents of a home, everything that was inside is now just in this field. We can see the dishwasher. We can see a microwave, chairs, clothes. And at this home in Wellington, the front door now blocked by a car, lifted and dropped there by the wind. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says the situation could have been worse. And the storm surge, as initially reported, has not been as significant overall as what was observed for Hurricane Helene. Officials say thousands of first responders and members of the National Guard have been deployed. And of course, utility crews are working around the clock to get the power back on. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, St. Petersburg.